Hello Gemini, welcome to your love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Gemini, this is a collective love message for your sign, sun, moon, rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. Show me important messages for Gemini, please. What Gemini needs to know important messages regarding Gemini's love life, please. Okay. All right. Show me more, please. Thank you. So Gemini, we are connecting here with someone um, with whom you might have met in a previous lifetime. We have past life love. Your soul remem remembers this intense connection. It feels like you share a very strong soul connection with someone here who is coming through this reading. We are connecting in this reading for you with this person. Um, it with the fate, leap of faith, boundaries and marriage. I'm getting quite strongly that um, this connection here is, is moving. Uh, it might be a case that it's evolving. Okay. And it feels like it is fated relationship, destined partnership, you and this person, with you and this person. There is something about making a significant significant move i feel that this person wants to make a significant move regarding the future of this connection you have someone here who sees future with you gemini okay and they are thinking here to kind of move this connection into the next level they are considering uh, making a move but there is something about boundaries we'll take a look what's going on in a minute what is this about but it's, it feels that I mean, this is what it says. Uh, firm boundaries are needed now. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see what is this about. For some of you, you might already know. <laughs> you might say, oh, I know what that means. Okay. But let's see. Let's see. Definitely, this is a very strong connection. You were meant to met each other it's like your your paths were, were meant to cross um and it feels like this connection here it's evolving this person wants to take this connection into the next level look we're starting with the lovers card you're reading destined relationship destined partnership Oh my gosh, Gemini, look, we have the lovers, we have the two of cups. We're starting with your energy, you know, lovers is your card as well. You might be dealing with another Gemini. Yes, there is a de definitely very strong soul, kind of soul matey kind of energy. When we look at those two cards, show me more about the situation, please, for Gemini. Lovers and two of cups, this is love. This is two people coming together, feeling this connection, wanting to be together. Definitely this person, that's for sure. Show me more, please, for Gemini. Queen of Cups, all love. Someone here really wants to share this cup of love with you. Okay, we have the Fool. You might be dealing Gemini also with Aquarius or Aries. Okay, let's see. We have the Sun. Oh, I like readings like this. <laughs> this is happiness, love. You might be dealing with Leo as well. Page of Pentacles, some sort of form of an offer is showing up. Show me one more, please. Nine of Cups. Wish Fulfillment. 
gosh, very beautiful cards you have, Gemini. And we have Temperance, gorgeous. This is a card. This is this is like a Temperance is this guardian angel of tarot. So there is this angel angelic presence regarding this connection here, Gemini. We have a king of swords at the bottom of the deck. So someone here wants to talk. I'm getting this person wants to talk with this king of swords. And, and it's like they want to be taken seriously. This is someone who wants to talk like a details. Uh, they want to bring some sort of clarity about the situation. But you have beautiful cards here. You might be dealing with Sagittarius also with this temperance card. So we have the lovers, the two of cups, queen of cups, fool, sun and temperance. That looks like a beautiful relationship to me, Gemini. This is, this is, uh, that's your reading. <laughs> that's it you know it's so beautiful but you know <laughs> no no i'm joking of course we're going to 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 pull more cards regarding this situation but it feels like indeed this person wants to take this connection into the next level we have the lovers to the two of cups with the queen of cups it's like this person wants to offer you this cup of love they want to share this love with you this is someone who wants to be emotionally available and it feels like they are the lovers with the two of cups this is a very strong soul um soul level of connection you share with this person this is a soulmate energy like a higher vibrational soulmate then we have the lovers the sun and the, this queen of cups this is love this is um that energy like two people coming together wanting to be together they're feeling very comfortably in each other's company this is beautiful. Then we have to fold the two of cups and the temperance. It feels like for this person that this connection is like a second chance. Uh, for or, or It's like a chance in general for them to start over. Um, to, to kind of to start uh, to start over uh, regarding love. It might be a case that this person been through a lot and like they met you. And you gave them hope. With the full to two of cups and the temperance, this person wants stable, harmonious, a calm relationship with you, with the temperance, very balanced. We see when we have this, this when we look at the, you know, when we have, okay, <laughs> when we have um, um, temperance and we look like, a, you know, the, the original take on, on temperance card we have this angel this beautiful angel and it's holding two cups and it's like balanced this angel is balancing the water we can see that it's a perfect that those that the water and two cups are like in a perfect balance and then we have this two of cups in here so it feels like in general that this person really wants to kind of create a very strong relationship based on harmony and tranquility you know and with the full it's like you are a chance for them for like a new beginning in love this is someone who i feel they've been through a lot um but they haven't um like lost hope regarding love and when they met you you kind of um rekindle this 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 hope or rekindle the feeling deeply that this person deeply inside has um has sorry for for uh, to be in a relationship it's like this is like a new opportunity to be in a happy relationship for this person and this is how this person sees this connection you make them very very happy very very happy it's like you are you are you're a hope for this person for this new beginning in love but it's not just you know um it, it doesn't feel that this connection is like, you know, just a normal connection, you know, um, ordinary connection, let's say it that way. This is this is very profound with the lovers, with the two of cups, with the sun, temperance. There is this angelic, an angelic presence. So you have someone here indeed who really wants to uh, create a relationship with you or who wants to take this connection really into the next level. But, but the main thing here is that this person loves you. And it feels, um, it might feel that this connection is, maybe you feel that way about this person, that it's, you know, they definitely feel that way about you. 
that it's destined that, that you both were meant to meet each other very beautiful very beautiful it's like this person sees you with the fool for a chance as a chance to be happy to to be with the perfect they see you as a perfect partner for them you know and it's like a this person feels that it's like a new beginning it's like a, that they they are they, they they've been given a chance to be happy with the fool let's see this person's feelings towards you gemini could you please show me this person's feelings towards gemini seven of cups this is this is someone who's thinking a lot about you gemini <laughs> let's see show me this person's feelings towards gemini show me please this person's feelings towards gemini we have a four of pentacles we have an ace of pentacles and we have the star at the bottom of the deck we have an ace of so so they really want to talk this is someone who really wants to talk about their feelings about this connection so in their feelings we have a four of pentacles and this is someone here who wants you and only you that's it they found their soulmate it feels like really beautiful with the ace of pentacles they want to offer you something here because ace of pentacles is this offer opportunity possibility chance but most of the time it represents like a opportunity to create something stable because that's what pentacles represents it's like an energy of stability and security when it comes to free 3d right everyday life and this is what this person wants to do and with the four of pentacles i'm getting very strongly here that uh, you know you are they seize you and only you that you are they feelings so if you've been wondering okay gemini if this person has feelings for you if they care oh they do they do they think only about you and they want to offer you with the ace of pentacles something like a, they want to present themselves that they are worth investing in that they have a lot to offer meaning stability the star you might be dealing with aquarius gemini this is someone here who's full of hope and that's what i was getting with this full energy with the two of cups and the temperance and the sun in the middle and it it feels like it is a double confirmation it's like they are full of hope this is someone who's full of hope that they can be very happy and that both of you can create happiness and both of you can be in a very happy relationship this is very beautiful reading I mean energy is very beautiful also this is someone here with the star they admiring your beauty they find you incredibly attractive it's like a movie star kind of energy uh, this person essentially feels that they like have won a lottery meeting you and they don't want to resign from it at all no and with the ace of swords i feel that this person oh it's like their feelings are telling them that maybe it's time to talk about this connection uh, there is something about having an honest conversation with you about the future of this connection Show me this person's actions. Seven of Pentacles. So what do we have? We, I mean, we already have three aces. So we had the Ace of Swords. We have an Ace of Pentacles. Now we have an Ace of Cups. This person's actions towards you. Yeah. Ace of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, the Hermit. You might be dealing with Virgo. At the bottom of the deck we have chariot cancerian energy gemini you have someone here who really who wants to be with you that's it that's it ace of cups their action this is someone who will offer you a long term this is their action essentially this is someone with the seven of pentacles which is a card of investment 
investment okay and with the ace of cups they they that's what i'm getting they will ask you cup of love meaning asking you depending on circumstances and reading but this is like an offer of love that's coming in and big time you know this is not just like a, for instance let's go out this is big and it feels like this person here wants to invest in this connection and that's the action they will take an action i'm getting this person will ask you uh, if you want to be with them long term or create like a stable relationship or be uh, exclusive you know please take it how it resonates regarding your uh, personal circumstances but with the seven of pentacles this is someone who will tell you that they want to invest in this connection they might not you know use the language that i'm using but it's like they will they will ask you if you are willing to uh, give them a chance to to create to be with them in a long term you know in a stable relationship to be an item then we have the hermit and we have this chariot yeah this person will take an action chariot is a very action orientated card a chariot put things in motion you know and there is something here i feel very strongly that this person for a long time feel, felt been feeling very very lonely or they felt lonely and it's like they want to move on from that feeling this is someone i feel who indeed been through a lot and they gain some sort of wisdom okay experience and it's like they've always felt like misunderstood or not fully understood um, and suddenly they met you and it just makes sense in you know that's how they see it that it makes sense for both of you to be together and they they, they will take an action this is someone who will take an action in order to move on from that feeling of being lonely this is someone who doesn't want to feel lonely anymore and they don't feel you know because it feels like the you know this connection here it's moving to in a very nice direction i'm getting um with the boundaries card when i look at this card the only thing is that this person might be momentarily a little bit too much maybe they just want your attention all the time because it feels like this feeling of love it's very kind of overwhelming this is someone who is in love with you they are in love with you and maybe you know momentarily uh, they might come across a little bit insecure this is something about, you know, just explaining them that, listen, you know, just because I, for instance, I won't reply it immediately to your message doesn't mean that something is going on, you know, just, just, it, it's okay. But it feels like, yeah, with the boundaries cut, it might be a case because I can feel how intense this connection can be or might be, especially from this person's perspective and side. But um, this person here will, will, uh, in their actions with the chariot they will take an action and i'm getting with the ace of cups uh, it it's it's throughout this reading it's showing that this person wants uh, will ask you or they want to talk about the future of this connection and with the seven of pentacles it's like they will ask you if you're willing to invest in this connection and i think with the leap of faith is that's what they um kind of um considering this person is considering to take a move uh, in order to kind of find out if you're really kind of interested uh, or if you you know interested to create some sort of stability with this person mm -hmm. and they will they will make that move they will take the leap of faith in order to find out let's see the outcome for the near future regarding this connection please Gemini with this person show me the outcome regarding this connection for Gemini and this person please we have a nine of swords okay queen of pentacles eight of pentacles this is someone who wants to put enormous amount of work it's like they really want to meet your expectations 
And I feel with the Nine of Swords, this is someone who has a tendency to be very stuck in their head. And also, um, they might be anxious momentarily if they have enough, you know, to offer. Okay. Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So we have Nine of Swords. What do we have in here? King, Page, Ten of Wands, mm -hmm. King of Cups. So we have a Queen of Cups and King of Cups. This is a soulmate energy, energy of divine counterpart. Nine of Pentacles, sorry, Nine of Swords, uh, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, King of uh, King of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and we have Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck as an overall energy for this reading. We have here um, Page of Pentacles. Okay, so let's move it a little bit. Okay. That's what I was getting when I was looking at those two cards while I was shuffling for you uh, those cards, Gemini, that Nine of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles this person and the Ten of Wands, th yes, they are very overwhelmed by the, the feeling, the, the feelings that they have for you here, Gemini. But this is also someone who might be stressing out and, and kind of wondering if they have enough, if they have enough here to offer with the Queen of Pentacles. The thing is that they do. It's just this person is stressing out and that's what it's showing out in your outcome that in the near future this person might come across a little bit you know anxious or worried or stressed but it it only coming from the place that this person is um is wondering uh, if they have enough to offer to you they it's all about this connection because they care a lot about this connection they really really do they want to be with you they want i'm getting very strongly here that even this is someone who sees a long-term future with you. But with the Nine of Swords, it's like they are stressing out and there is no reason for doing that. But, you know, we can only control, right, our actions. We can't control others. Um, so I feel this is something that Spirit wants you to kind of, you know, if, if this person, for instance, will come across in the, common, in the near future a little bit differently, it, it, I feel the spirit wants to reassure you that it, it's got nothing to do with you. It's just them kind of, you know, thinking about uh, just wanting to, to, to... This person wants you to see future with them. And the worries are coming from... Uh, they worries are coming from them being unsure if they have enough to give or if they have enough to offer and ten of wands it can be quite overwhelming i feel this person is all very overwhelmed by the emotions they feel because it feels completely like a, a bit of otherworldly <laughs> this connection i feel they've never felt like that about you know anyone they met it's very special and they feel how intense this connection is and i feel this person feelings are just wow of the scale <laughs> you have someone here who really is in love with you to the point that they are stressing out if if they have enough if you would accept this offer of love of you know both of you being as an item you know taking this connection into the next level that's the only thing that this person is really kind of might be stressing out with the nine of swords then we have this king of cups we have a queen of cups this is a divine counterpart energy so it feels like a soulmate energy that you met your soulmate here or you're about to meet but i'm um, as a collective i feel that for some of you you met someone like this that you feel quite similarly about them as well as they feel about you uh, with the will of fortune we have this fate <laughs> this is a destiny as well right and this is also a card that represents that things will be put in motion again because will of fortune is all about progress and we have next to it page of wands which is a message okay so something here will be communicated to you and there will be a conversation with the page of pentacles i feel that you know in the near future and this person here maybe will you know ask you out or you will just you know they will just send you a message and say what what are the plans shall we go somewhere something like this or they will be a quite in 
not intense communication, but like a passionate communication between the two of you. But with the Wheel of Fortune, it feels like this connection here will uh, will start moving on into um, into uh, a more serious direction, if I can say it that way. There will be a progress regarding this connection. Page of Pentacles as an overall energy for this reading suggests that uh, this connection has a potential to grow into something really beautiful because pages are potentials and as an overall energy for this reading in spirit here it's 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 kind of uh, i feel that showing that indeed through this page of pentacles energy that this connection uh has a potential uh, to blossom into something really 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 profound and beautiful indeed so you have someone here, Gemini, who wants to, who really wants to be with you, who feel this connection on a soul level, and um, and uh, they will they will take an action. There will be a conversation. This person will kind of, it's like they will uh, express their intentions, and it feels like their intentions here is to to um, to invest in this connection and to build something really stable and secure meaning being in a relationship union or create union with you gemini so you can expect uh, that certain things uh, will be put in motion there will be a progress and this person indeed will express um, uh, express their feelings and that they truly want to be with you gemini with the Wheel of Fortune, you might be dealing with Sagittarius because the Wheel is it's, it's, it's hugely associated with, with, with Sagittarius as well. Um, but it's also a fixed energy, so, so you might be dealing with Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus. Okay. Gemini, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Gemini, have a fantastic and beautiful day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. Love and light. Till next time. Take care. Bye.